everybody is in the place of always needing something. By the time I'm running off, some of you want to run as if it's business. I want to start. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? What you will learn today will change your life. I thought you say amen. That is why no matter how my children are educated, they must have and work. Go to Harvard, you must still have one small hand work. And it's never too late to have and work. Hello? I'm not just a pastor. If I don't do a pastor, I have more than 10 things I can do to generate money. What I'm teaching you now is not pastoring. This is coaching. This is what? They pay money to learn it. I have not started talking to you. <laughs> Some of you, by the time I'm rounding up, some of you want to run as if it's business. I want to start. Amen. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? Yes, a CEO does not think like a normal person. He's not a conventional thinker. Huh? Yes, conventional thinkers see problems. A CEO see income. Yes, Do you understand what I'm saying here? A conventional thinker, a normal guy on the road, in your company, see, ah, problem, problem. But a CEO sees money. Sees what? Money. money. Sit down. Sees what? Money. That is, that is how a CEO thinks. Yes, I think. A conventional lady sees problem everywhere. But a young lady that has the mindset of a CEO sees money everywhere. Some set of people came from China to a, 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 an African country and uh, they were working with their president. And the president kept complaining that look at problem everywhere. Look at problem. And the China guy said, look at money everywhere. Look at money everywhere. They now went to another country. The, the president was now complaining, we don't have sleepers. Okay, this was an Igbo guy. He went to a country. He saw that everybody was working with be uh, barefooted. You understand what I'm saying? And the president was complaining to him that we don't even have sleepers. We can't go wear anything. The, uh, the evil guy said, don't worry. He went to China and shipped in trailers, trucks of sleepers. By the end of that year, he gathered all the money of the nation to his pocket. And the nations were celebrating him for solving the sleepers problem for them. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? See, when people complain, don't complain. See opportunity to generate income. See opportunity. That is, the reasons why people don't start business is because of wrong mental orientation. Another reason why people don't start business, they don't go into business, is because of wrong association. Wrong association. You that want to be a business guru, you are working with somebody that doesn't even have brain. That when he sees money, the first thing that is coming to his heart is to go to a club, is to go to one place to drink, drive all over town. Hmm? You see? Now, you met somebody, your friend. God blessed you with 500,000. You now said to that, your friend, God has just blessed me with 500. I did a business, I made 500,000. He said, We don't have man. Enter my car, more drive, come out. We don't have man. You see, with that kind of friend, you can't start a business. Inside that 500,000, God owns 50,000. Listen, oh, God owns what? Offering owns 20,000. Your prophet owns anything you desire. Your business owns at least 50%. No, see, great businesses is not in the amount you use in starting. It's in the consistency in fueling it. Yes, yes, yes. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Yes, Every money that enters your hand, some dimension of it should go to business. I'm telling you. I was talking to one of my sons. As I still remember those days when I was growing up, I've always gotten a business mindset. When I go to the field, to the singlet I wear, if you say, I like this, your singlet is very big. I say, now for sale. I will sell it for you. Collect the money. I can sell it twice what I bought it. Also, let me tell you what business does to you. 
A businessman that his head is correct is not permitted to stay in one spot. Once you are a business guy and you injecting the covenant, you injecting hard work, and you have the CEO mindset, you will keep moving. You will keep moving. You will keep moving until you get to the top. Now, when you get to the top, now, in your stage of moving, you have stage friends. Every stage has a friend. Hello? Do you know this guy, Tony? Oh, 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 oh. You know him? Now, if you make his research, go and make research about him, how he started. Jim Ovia, go and make research about him, how he started. That is, this CEO Sunday is to put in you a kind of mindset where you go out, you know that you just have to succeed. Does that make sense to somebody at all here? Last reasons why people don't start business. They are under course. When you don't start business, it's a sign that you are under course. After this kind of teaching, you are under spells. And the kind of course you are under is the course of poverty. You know, what the course of poverty does is that it makes you become servant forever. Yes, sir. See, where you are working, if the person have that mindset, will you see that place to work? And everybody that ever became great, they started young as you. Nobody started after years old. No, 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 no. You are working in Chicken Republic. You are working in Genesis. You are working anywhere. They started small. They started where? Small. That's why you see a young guy that is 40 years old. He's celebrating 40 years. His business is celebrating 21. Celebrating what? Then capacity before content. Before what? Before content. That it gives you the opportunity to be a millionaire or a billionaire. Some of you have handwork that can make you very rich. You don't beat somewhere. Don't beat somewhere. You want to work somewhere. You don't know that one contract, just one contract can settle all the work that we pay you for one year. For what? What? One year. A genuine business guy can't stay in one place. Don't limit yourself. A CEO must have a large heart. A what? A large heart. Who is telling you that you can't discuss with the present governor of Delta State? Write proposal to them. Tell them what you can do. Tell them the advantage of your service. Now what they do now is that they build structures. Am I right? Contractors. You will have money in your life. Amen. I thought you said meant to that. Amen. I say you will have money in your life. Amen. The business makes you very matured. Very what? Mature. You want to work for people, you good to gain idea. There's different business is not like church ministry that God have to tell you to start. He said, if God calls a man not do business, shut up. God tell all of us to do business. Even there's a level churches get to, they begin to diversify into businesses. Put your hand on your head. Put your hand. Say, I receive grace. Put it, hold land tight, hold your head tight. Say, I receive grace to do business. I want your voice to be loud. Say, I receive grace. Say it louder. Say, ah. Receive, Receive. Grace. grace. Say grace. grace. To do business. Another benefit of being a businessman is that you, you, you have far result than your peers. Far result than your peers. 
Money not invested is money wasted. When they give you 50,000, inside that 50,000, tithe is there, offering is there, prophetic offering is there, the rest, investment. If you keep it without investing it, you waste it. Hello? Hello? Several major things that are common with every CEO. One, the CEO is a learner. Learn from the past, learn from the future, uh, from the present, and observe very well. A CEO is a learner. How does he learn? He learned by reading. He learned by listening to tapes. He learned by observation. He learned by reading. He learned by listening to tapes. And he learned by observation. A CEO is a learner. You can't run business with regular sense. You must be current. Hello? You can't say you are selling clothes and you don't know what is invoked in fashion world. You don't even know where to get the product cheap. Learning. Making research. Two, a CEO is a strong communicator. Has a strong communicating skill. I read from you. He said, as a leader, a CEO, you need communicating skill to communicate your business to your customers. <laughs> Communication is key in any setting. And as someone in charge who is a CEO, you must learn how to communicate effectively to boost your moral when necessary. <laughs> is our team to completing a timely project. Nobody will ever do business with you once he notice that you're, you are more interested in your interest than their own. Why should we give you this contract? What is the it benefit? How prompt are your delivery? How trusted are your products? That's why you have to constantly make research about the field you are into. Begin to tell them the advantage. You say, we will deliver on time. You won't stress us in delivery. And after the event, we pack everything, make the place neat. Your, 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 the success of your event is our job. That's why we're here. Because yeah, this person speaks well. Before you know, they give you the job. Am I talking to somebody here? For instance, you are making clothes or something. You tell the person, you see, look at this one. Look at this one. They tried. They, they did something good here. You first comment what you're showing them. So that will look as if you are showing them nonsense. You say, these people try, this is a perfect job, but we can improve on it. Our vision is to improve on this for you. And you use this to blend this one, and that the occasion is going to be good. Our joy is to see the occasion lighted by your appearance. You say, wow, this person is interested in my occasion. Take the stuff, produce it for us. Does that make sense to somebody here? That is why as a CEO, you must have the ability to communicate. To communicate. Are you getting blessed? Are you getting blessed? 